Blessed is our God always, now and ever, and unto ages of age.
who looks on the earth and trembles, who touches the mountains and they smoke. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praise to my God while I have been. May my meditation be pleasing to him, for I rejoice in the Lord. Let sinners be consumed from the earth, and let the wicked be no more. Bless the Lord of my soul, praise the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Hallelujah, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. With the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord.
Let us attend peace be unto all wisdom, the Prochemenon is the victor. Save me, O God, by thy name, and judge me by thy strength. Save me, O God, by thy name, and judge me by thy strength. Hear my prayer, O God, hearken unto the words of my mouth. Save me, O God.
power and the glory of the Father and the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Of the holy martyrs Sergius and Bacchus, 
of, of Syria, whose memories we keep this day, and of all the saints that have shone forth in this North American land, and of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, have mercy on us and save us, for as much as he is good, and he loves mankind. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Glory to Jesus Christ. Today we honor the memory of the holy martyrs Sergius and Bacchus. They were, um, they lived in the late uh, 3rd century, early 4th century, so the late 200s into the early 300s. They gave their life for the sake of Christ in the year 303. And uh, one of the hymns that we sang, if you read their life, makes a lot of sense and connects to them. So it's just another reminder to us that the hymns that we sing are supposed to remind us of their lives. And they're, when we read about their lives, they're supposed to remind us about the songs that we sing. They work together. Um, and as I um, want to make sure that I remind everyone that we do have the service texts available on our website, um, as long as I remember to put them there. Christopher is very dutiful about getting them to me, but um, sometimes I forget. It's on the media tab of our website, and you drop down and go to services, and the service texts for the services are there, so you can follow along and be edified with the services. Um, this is what the hymn that we sang tonight said. Having disdained all, that the might of the world and scorned the flesh, you came to love the holy God, and wearing a vesture of dishonor put upon you in mockery, you received garments of light from heaven and robes that cannot be rent asunder, dancing therein, O crowned ones most rich, be ye a veil for all of us and a raiment, that we may that we have we that have been stripped bare of life by the deception of the serpent. So the story of Sergius and Bacchus is that they were high ranking officials in the court of the Emperor Maximian. They were part of the royal court of the emperor. And they had received all of the honors and all of the love and all of the praise that went along with that. But they were secretly Christians. And the moment that the emperor found out they were Christians, he changed. He switched. And he began to heap difficulties upon these men, trying to convince them through threats to abandon their Christian faith, and they wouldn't. And then he tried to embarrass them. This is where the, um, the hymn is talking about robes of dishonor. They were dressed like women, and they were marched down the street as people insulted them. But those garments of, of mockery, just like with our Lord Jesus Christ, became something else, became a garment of light for them. The hymn is even speaking about this garment of light from heaven, which we know is our baptismal garments. As many of you who have put on Christ, uh, have been baptized into Christ, have put on Christ. We know that our baptismal garments are vestures of light and honor and glory that are given to us. The robe that cannot be rent asunder. We know that when our Lord was crucified, He had that seamless garment that was not rent asunder. A reminder to us of the wholeness of our faith in Jesus Christ. And the attitude of these holy saints in this, this moment of trial and this moment of being mocked, they were dancing. Reminding us of the victory that we can have as long as we are in Christ, regardless of what's happening around us. The saints give us this encouragement and show us what it's like to, to suffer gladly for the sake of the gospel. O crowned ones most rich, to receive the crowns from Christ. I don't know if you've ever seen in some churches, uh, there'll be like a hand coming like 
from out of nowhere, kind of. And there'll be crowns in the hands. Uh, uh, that's Jesus crowning the saints. It's really quite beautiful. I don't think we have it in any, any of our icons here, but it is a, a particular thing that's given. The uh, Stephanie, the crowns, uh, were given uh, for those who ran the race and were victorious in the Olympics. And so those crowns of victory were given to these, these marvelous athletes of Christ. Be ye a veil for us and a raiment. So we're actually asking these things to cover us, to also give us some of their, of their, of their grace, uh, to offer us their strength and their prayers. We that have been stripped bare of life by the deception of the serpent. There's a lot going on in this little hymn. And it's the truth with our, in all of the hymns and the teachings that we have in our holy church and the lives of the saints that are here to inspire us to come on a Wednesday evening. I like it when it gets dark out, don't you all? Like when it's bright out on, like for a Vesper, it's kind of, you go outside and it's sunny, you gotta put your sun, it feels weird. This feels good, right? It's dark outside, it's light inside, it's really, really quite nice to be inspired, to be reminded that our world, brothers and sisters, is not flat. Our world is not flat, it is infused with God's grace all of the wonderful things that we are reminded of through His Holy Church. And it's through the lives of the saints that we can also be inspired to see what is before us more clearly, uh, to run the race that's set before us, to endure whatever struggles we have, that we can dance through them, right? We can be overfilled and overjoyed with the grace that comes from our Lord Jesus Christ uh, and that was experienced by His saints, and we pray that we'll experience as well in the kingdom. Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Glory to Jesus Christ. Glory to God. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us.